Hey yo together and very welcome to the Star of Two Crazy Replays today with a TVT on Odyssey Letter Edition. It's quite an old replay. I have three more to cast. I mean three in total. And after that I have to play three games. Unfortunately I don't can I, I can't use the overlay created for me anymore. As it was for a different resolution. I would need to change the resolution in game in order to play with the overlay. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. Maybe I could. But I'm not sure quite yet. So anyways, this is the TVT. And we have in the bottom right hand side in blue for the clan is Imba. It is the blue Terran Sun. I said two times blue. That's bad. Gas, Rex, gas. Uh oh. And in the top left hand side, it's me in the red. Pro Kings, Alex Usher. Whoa. And now I screwed them. Woo. There we go. Okay. So let's see how good my English is after two months of a break, not talking any English at all. I mean, uh, just a little bit, but not much, to be honest. So. <laughs> Enjoy me bubbling and searching for words. It looks like I'm going for uh, Rex Gas. Maybe not, maybe it was Gas Rex. Yeah, it was Gas Rex, of course. My mistake. And he's going for Factory there, son. You little bastard, that's not nice. That's, that's I also have to admit that currently StarCraft 2 is not that appealing to me. Um, it's a good game, it's a very good game, but man, it can be so frustrating to play as well. And now it's quite the same over and over again. So that's one of the reasons why I don't play it too much currently. I'm also just tier 2 master. Terror. I need to work on that. But I, I'm, I'm just not like, yeah, yeah TVT is, is a pain to play TVP is okay, and TVC is <laughs> So that's that's how I feel currently. And Max not really viable still for some reason. However, I did play Mac in uh, on an A server. That's a good thing. I think I'm gonna play Mac. On, on an A server for the other three games. Uh, that's something interesting, it's something different, maybe it's fun. Um, I don't think I will play too much StarCraft 2 in the next few weeks, even though I have lots of spare time. It's just the game doesn't feel right currently. I'm not sure uh, if StarCraft Remastered is the big hype anymore. It's a very good game, <laughs> of course it is, I mean, it's Brute War basically, with better graphics, zoom out, zoom in, nicer replay function and observer overlay. That's really good, I like it. And it's very, the, the good thing about StarCraft Remastered is it's somehow fresh. It's super exciting to watch. Mm. And even though it's quite the same over and over again, I have to say, even the mirror matchups and even PvZ, which I don't like at all to watch in StarCraft 2. Even PvP is quite interesting. But yeah, maybe I'm biased, like, can be. So, Sun, I'm not sure what Sun is doing here. It looks like I'm going to... Yeah, that's the Cyclone opener. Where's my tank? I really could need a tank here. I'm going to scout. He got the raven, the raven with the auto -tool. Overall, maybe. A big maybe. Oh, I'm just taking the watchdog. That's smart as well. Maybe. Big maybe. Um, I will play more StarCraft 2 after the yearly big overhaul. <coughs> where the balance team is changing a lot. If you haven't watched or looked uh, upon the patch notes, do it. Um, they are not as big as they were last year, I feel like, with the 
Battlecruiser Tactical Jump and such and the DT Blink. Woo! But they are getting a complete remake of the Raven. So they completely changed that unit. Uh, auto turret gets thrown down, PDD goes down, the Seeker missile goes down, everything gone for good and other abilities for it. There will be a missile that blasts and shreds the armor, so armor reduction on uh, up to 3 points currently I think. Maybe it can get into the negative so you deal bonus damage. That I, I'm not sure I haven't played the test map. Um, there's a missile that locks down units so you can't use abilities nor attack with them any longer for a certain amount of time. That's fun. And they get... Uh, he has a big attack now. So he scans, he will just go in. That's so sure. There are the auto turrets, three in total, so much DPS, bam! He just goes in. I don't have many tanks left, I need to... Ah, the Raven goes... Not down! Oh, that's a big mistake. I get my auto turrets now myself. And he's killing... Seven as... That was not too... B oh yeah, that auto turret, that sucks. Ah, uh, don't get the tank, that's good, but the Raven escapes. I should have killed with 2 HP. Mm. So, in total, 7. It's okay, trade wise. I'm still up in SCD, so that's fine. And I'm going up to 4 racks. Should go up to 5. He's on 3 now, 3rd command center, basically at the same time. So, it's, it's still a good game. Uh, up and open for everyone. Yeah, the third ability of the Raven will be uh, uh, a heal drone for mech units. So now you not only can repair them in field with SCVs and mules, but you also can get the repair drone. I think it costs 50 energy and it repairs, I don't know, as fast as the medivac heals? Uh, it's, it's insane. So if you, if you have the SCVs with it and the heal drone, but as the marines and marauder and such, every tank, every mech unit can only be uh, healed by one heal drone. I don't know how the hell that is affected by medivax and a heal drone. If you can have double heal for medivax, just uh, for, for helvets, just imagine the helvets getting healed and healed at the same time, once by a medivac and once by a heal drone. It won't affect any all-in, as you can't have double starport for a helmet all-in, I think, but the, the opportunities would be there. Just imagine having a helmet drop and get a raven with it for double heal. Whoa, that would be strange. Um, also, there's a new upgrade for Terran, which is, I don't know how it's called, fast servos? I don't know, which reduces the... The transformation time of all transformationable units like Thor, Hellion, Halbert, um, Viking. I think it's up to two seconds now. It was by one second, so uh, you would have. Uh oh, that's a big, big clash. Oh, the Raven gets taken out. That's huge, but the tanks. Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no, 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 no. That's, that's so bad. Okay, there's one auto turret helping out a lot. The split is quite good, and I don't know how, but it looks like I win this fight. It was messy as hell, but I win. F2, Reaper, okay. That's very interesting. Mm, I should land. Yeah, there we go. So, what else is there for Terran? The Liberator gets slightly changed with the way it grants vision for the. Liberation Zone, I think. And the Ghost can use its Cloak ability now from scratch. No, no, no research necessary any longer. And the Mobius Reactor, I think, is it's it was called is back. So yeah, that's that's that. I think that's everything for Terran. They are testing a lot. They are getting. Oh! Excuse me. Oh! The mothership core is getting removed. 
And this is the stupid pylon overcharge. Woohoo! <laughs> I I don't know if all the other abilities are horrible. Um they are redoing the Nexus with recall ability and shield recharge ability and such and, and pylon recharge, I don't know. Um but at least the stupid pylon overcharge is gone for good. And that's so awesome. So maybe he should relocate in order to save this orbital command. Oh, I'm not going in. He got 1-1 one, one against 0-1. So that's good for him. He got so many overmans. And that's, I, I think, Sun, on this time, what you see here is the kind of play you can accept, expect from me now with Oversaturating, not taking bases in time, floating minerals, and here comes the big drop. Bomb, bomb. Oh, with the Raven. Oh God, you need the PDD. Just imagine. Oh no. I mean, the PDD was the ability in order to overcome missile turret rings. Oh no, that's a huge mistake, Blizzard. You can't. Oh no. Oh wow, I don't know about that. But seriously, with the PDD gone, you can't drop like that. Look at it, that's horrible. He now needs to attack, there's a bunker, there are three tanks. Oh no. He's, he needs to decide, go back or go in. And I'm taking out the add-ons and the supply depots. I'm dealing damage here, losing some wounds. That's not good. But the starport goes down. The tech lab, don't know why I fo focused that, you would... Ah, he comes back, okay. Oh, he overstimmed hard. But he clears it, that's nice. On the other hand, now I'm on four bases. Ah, he cleared the turret, that's good for me. The reactor burns down, he can't have any more medivacs, and he's stuck on two? So, not much of a dropping going on for a long time. Oh no, there's the start one, okay. But he... Mm, the reactor burns down. That's not good. 2-2 two, two on the way for him. I got 1-2. My tanks have some upgrades. That's good for me. Hmm. And he's a fly cat as well. Okay, taking the Xenara Watchtower, that's good. Scan goes down. You can't attack into that. He's going for it, I need good splits! Oh no, either commit or don't at all, but that was... I don't know. So he kills the bunker, loses a tank. Uh, he might lose another one, no? He will kill the gas guys, but I don't need that, so... Mm, as long as they don't have a Liberator, there's not much I can do. Or oh, Banji. I prefer the Liberator. I'm going to flank him. That's good. Is it called Flanqui uh, in, uh, in Fra Fra France? 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 I don't know. Oh, the orbital command gets low! Super low! Super low! I need to repair it super quick! Oh my goodness! Okay, got it. And here comes the flank. Oh, right when he unseaches the tanks. Oh no! Yeah, or loses the medivac, so now he doesn't have vision. So basically I don't need to flank him, but I'm going in. Right now, that's the killing blow for his army. All the tanks will go down. Those units not shooting big mistake, but it's enough. And that was a good clear, losing a bunker at the gas geyser. And some tanks and marines in the process, but he doesn't have much more. Um, <laughs> yes, you need medivacs, my friend. Uh, yeah, and he needs a fourth base. He's going for the gold base. That's smart, but he doesn't have enough barracks. He's on five barracks instead of eight. If you have the gold base, go up to ten because you can afford it. Uh, yeah, and he's on five, and I'm on guess what? Eight racks, but three without add-on. That's not good. I think the killing blow is on on his side soon. Uh, Sun shouldn't be able to... Oh, he loses SUVs there. 
not too many, but still some. And you can see how I traded. I lost way more stuff, but because I mined more, I would say in total, it's okay for me. If he, if that would have been equal, it would have been GG already. Yeah, which is funny, but that's the way it is. I traded way worse, but I macroed a little bit better. This attack, however, is bad. This attack, however, is quite okay, but only with five marines uh, to. To back up those units, that's bad. The planetary fortress, yeah. No chance here. He's on 2-2 two -two against 2-2 two -two as well. But loses one eBay. He goes in. I might be able to, to save the Medivax, but losing a lot in the process. The barracks is burning. Then he will be on four racks. He should repair. The income is looking good for him, I have to say. But he needs to macro better. Nine marines at a time, that's good. I could have a little bit more. So far I am on eight. My tanks get good attack up the, uh, upgrades. Oh yeah, that's really good. Look at that. <laughs> I can one shot marines now. No, I can't. Oopsie. Without the uh, shield upgrade I could, yeah. Ah, oh, that's not looking too good here. But he can't mine. And that's bad for his income. I will take out the sensor turret. I should. Eventually, maybe. Mm, he can't mine. No no chance. Oh, the Marauder needs to be so careful. If he eats 80 damage, that's more than half of his life. There's the tower gone. Ah, oh, drop attempt. Deflect that. Really nice. But, ooh, that's the Marauder. And there's the next attack, three tanks idling here around. Huh. Oh, he sees it. But he's losing a lot of income and money with the repair all the time. He can't mine and he's repairing, so he's losing money the whole time here. He isn't mining much. So. Basically, this game is soon over. It has to be. That was a bad tank spot. Yeah, I traded really bad. And he goes in. Not sure about that. He might be able to clear it, but maybe not even that. 3-3 three, three finish from my marines. And he clears it. Nice, but... There's more to come. Still idle. More units. 12 marines against 5 now and basically that's game soon. This is his main base, not mining anything. Will get taken out soon. He can't clear this. He's doing really good trades in total. But now I'm into his production right when his barracks are finishing up and could produce stuff. Right when he stabilizes I'm right into his production again. Killing a lot, bye bye tank, and just going up, killing all the add ons should be enough to grant it. Yeah, there we go. Good siege on the ramp, taking out every reinforcement coming there. He might be able to clear that, but there's just too much. I'm surging him right now. There we go, that's it. Whew, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode. As always, I wish you a very nice day and goodbye. Hey oh there, thank you for watching. If you'd like to support me, simply hit the thumbs up button. Do you have any wishes, feedback or suggestions, put them into the comments below. You may also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I wish you a wonderful and stress-free day, take care, bye bye. Thank you.